Welcome back to the channel. It's a uh, cold Sunday morning, guys. Um, here in Northeast Ohio, 70 degrees one day, two days later it's 30 and snowing, as you can see. But uh, I wanted to come out, take a walk, and uh, make a video about some things that are on my mind uh, that are, I think are interesting. Had a really cool conversation with one of my friends who's a longtime silver and gold stacker. And we were talking about CBDC and propaganda and how uh, CBDC will probably become the ultimate propaganda tool. And I'm going to explain to you why in a couple minutes here. So one of the benefits of not living in a big city, in a, you know, I'm in a suburban area, but you know, you could still find some wooded areas to go for a walk in, even though the weather's crap. But uh, I also noticed, someone sent me an article this morning, that uh, Costco is going to be, they're start sell, they started selling silver, uh, silver rounds. I think they're the, uh, Canadian maple leaves with King Charles on them. So it looks like Costco's getting into the silver game as well as the gold game, as you already know. And uh, I guess they did so well with gold. Apparently they sold $100 million uh, worth of gold that it was such a big hit that they're going to go into the silver game now. And uh, I'm not sure if that's good for us or not. Really not sure about that one. But uh, I guess more silver and gold that flying off the shelves uh, could have an effect over time on the prices. I'm not sure. I think it's probably dictated by larger things. But uh, I want to talk to you first about propaganda. And as you know, uh, or you may not know, propaganda is uh, being thrown at you from every angle constantly uh, every day everywhere you go everything you watch all the social media everything is propaganda and uh, I believe it's the ultimate tool to control the masses um, it's been used throughout history obviously to uh, control for control and um, as technology advances uh, propaganda has gotten better or uh, what's the word more sophisticated and uh, you know and a mild form of propaganda I believe is with advertising obviously uh, whenever you're online social media uh, surfing the internet whatever you're doing whatever you're looking at is being tracked and recorded and then they can serve you ads that appeal to your habits so they already know uh, what, what what you like what you're into what your uh, current interests are and they'll feed you ads based on that to try and sell you products so whether or not that's immoral or not I don't know you know that's I mean advertising like that has been going on forever just not to this extreme with the analytics that they have on us but I was thinking in relation to CBDC, and I'm, I'm, I'm certain it's coming. I'm certain a digital currency, a central bank digital currency is definitely coming. And uh, honestly, once they implement this, that's the ultimate propaganda tool, um, the ultimate analytical tool. And it won't be just used for advertising only. It's, uh, can you imagine? Uh, cash is gone. They have this digital currency. Everything you do, everything you purchase, everywhere you go, everything will be tracked and monitored. They will know you better than you know yourself. And uh, it's inevitable that that's coming. 
Now, just like they use it now for advertising, this will be analytics on steroids for them. And for them, I'm talking about the powers, whoever's in control, the ones we uh, don't know who they are, actually, I don't believe. Uh, we see the names out there, but I think the ones that are really, the, the real ones with the real power are the ones we don't even know who they are. Maybe groups, maybe a conglomeration of groups, but it's definitely going on. And um, it's going to get much worse once CBDC is in there because your privacy will be completely gone. Uh, and they'll be able to dictate everything. They'll be able to control every single thing that goes on just through the analytics of the CBDC. So it's something to think about. And, uh, you know, it's like um, when you have all the money in the world and you could buy anything you want, what comes next? What would you want next? Uh, power, right? Control. It's probably also why certain groups or collaborations, if I said that right, are buying up farmland everywhere. Uh, what's that for? Control the food supply, maybe? I don't know. But I figured I'd make a quick video. Uh, it is freezing out here and it is snowing. And uh, I want to head up to the local uh, Bang Bang show this morning to pick up some more supplies, if you know what I mean. And uh, just want you guys to think about this. You know, if you have any comments about what I'm talking about, uh, if you think I'm on the right track, or me and my buddy are on the right track, actually, uh, please, you know, leave some comments. But just think about that, guys. Just think about what I'm saying. A central bank digital currency. No more cash. Um, ultimate analytical tool and propaganda tool at some point. For sure. And uh, it could open up a bag of worms for us. The silver and gold stacking community. Uh, people who value their privacy. Uh, it, it's going to open up a big can of worms. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I'm not even sure what it does to uh, silver and gold at that point. That's another uh, topic that we'd have to think about. But uh, in any case, I'm going to head back home, uh, jump in the car, go up to the show. And uh, please like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, it's helping my channel grow. And if you have any comments, please leave them. Leave them below. Thanks. Have a great day.